All praise and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai B'Shem Kodesh. Yahweh being the true Almighty and powerful name of the Heavenly Father in the world, and He calls God Jehovah and Yahweh. But His true name is Yahweh, which means He is or He exists. He to be. Bashem is in the name Yahweh Shai, is the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. A true name, Lord, and He called Jesus Christ, Christ and Yeshua. True name is Yahweh Shai, which means He the Deliverer. Hashem Rechakadah's name is Spirit Holy. The Holy Spirit. Of course, giving double honors to elder apostles, elder bishops, a great millstone who will. Peace and salutations, elect. Shemia Abba, and Abba, from the great millstone playing tables camp, located here in the city of Philadelphia. Abba, I'm a mighty might. Come on, lesson, little are we lesson. And just a update. Um. I was speaking about the I-95 roadway, uh, which allegedly had a tanker explosion, which um, severed you know, a portion of it, preventing traffic um, off of the exit, the Cotman Avenue exit, uh, going, if you were going north and you want to exit off of... Uh, Cotman Avenue, you couldn't because of this, and um, now they built <coughs> a temporary uh, roadway, and and opened up six lanes of traffic, but also this has um um stop the ability uh for um, for people. Um, to was that to exit off the Cotman Avenue exit off the I-95 because they built um, this temporary roadway which me personally I don't know um, you know how you know this is this whole plan is going to work out um, you know they do, do speak about how they uh, are gonna build a permanent solution, uh, but um, you have this temporal wall, okay? And I was hearing about you know, of course, a lot of economic um, reasons why they quickly um, did or reopen or build this. But I have my own speculations as well. Now, I'm just going to play this off of CBS, or this is 6ABC Philadelphia. I don't own the footage. Just doing this for um, educational purpose only. And I'm just going to even check even in the uh, comments. It says, highway lanes are always 12 foot wide. The new roadway fix... The lanes are only 11 foot wide. Everyone needs to be extra vigilant crossing through this this area. Be careful and safe. And it looks, quite frankly, dangerous. You know, just to me. Like, it just looked very dangerous. Um, you know, I know... Um, you have it... Um, driving on these high-speed roadways are dangerous to begin with, but... Uh, just this itself with the amount of vehicles that drive on these structures and, um, you know, uh, accidents, uh, this could easily turn to another catastrophe, alright? But, and nobody replied to that. Apparently they did it in 12 days, somebody's saying. And this is like how I say, how will they remove that? What's... What's the plan to replace with a permanent overpass? Should be entertaining to watch, right? Because you build uh, this, but you have no exit. So, is there intention to really have a Cotman Avenue exit? You have to think uh, of that, too. Um, let me see if anybody said anything in response. Um... Yeah, they'll implode it. 
Yeah, but this person said, wow, Pennsylvania did their job. Let's have a parade and a press conference, right? So, but you have to get it spiritually. So I'm going to play this and in, in go. Because um, even before uh, this, through the spirit, um, I was already uh, on the spirit. Because I didn't do this lesson until, uh, well, I'm doing it today. But the roadway actually officially reopened sometime around what, noon today, Friday, being the June the 23rd. In 2023, I had a, a verse here, um, uh, which uh, Revelation 18 and 7. But um, I'm gonna just play the video first, and then we'll just go through it. Let's play it. Reopen and ready for travelers. Just 12 days after a devastating collapse, traffic on I-95 and. And then that's another thing. They keep saying it's a collapse. A tanker exploded. And apparently, as they say, it was a collapse because of that. But anyway, well, exploded as they said he lost control, but that's another statement, another story. Coney is about to be flowing in both directions again. This is a live look at the six new temporary lanes of I-95 that are about to open for the first time in nearly two weeks. Friday afternoon, I'm Alicia Vitarelli along with Christy Aletto. The big story on Action News at noon is a major artery that carries drivers through Philadelphia now back in business. That's right. This was the scene as a fire truck carrying Philadelphia's sports mascots crossed over I-95 into Babylon. Coney this morning. Governor Josh Shapiro says this astounding accomplishment would not have been possible without the aggressive efforts and hard work of construction crews. And now a new timeline begins for work on a permanent structure. Action News reporter Maggie Kent live near the construction site in Wissanoming with the latest on the Rio. It's not in Wissanoming. The construction site is in Tacony. You've already stated that. You know, it just goes to show you how much uh, confusion and casting is on these news statements. You just said about this being Tacony, but then now it's Wissanomi. The construction site is Wissanomi. No, <laughs> that's not Wissanomi. What's the nomen to be Bridge Street exit, which uh, would be uh, exit 27. I don't even know if they even have that if you're heading south, but you know, we had to go on. I know they closed the Harvestin Avenue uh, and one of those one uh, exits permanently if I'm not mistaken but anyway going on opening Maggie you have been here from the very beginning you have watched this develop and, and, and look at everybody lovers of themselves just you know and this is actually it's like yeah let me let me correct myself if they say in the construction site where they currently are being the construction site where they currently are right here is Quaker City I think that's Qu the, the, the Quaker City Quaker Yacht Club or whatever by Comley Avenue uh, here in Philadelphia. Uh, parking lot where they just have a bunch of flea market, uh, you know, things going on. Uh, you have strip clubs on this strip. So, yes, she is there, but I don't know why because the the off-ramp is way well over down the street. Levick is north. Uh, Cotman is north, more north. But anyway... I guess that's a construction site, but I haven't been down there. I know they've been doing construction all over it, obviously, uh, but I don't know. Anyway, going on. Day by day, and it is an astounding effort. It is absolutely incredible, Alicia. What a feat. Less than 12 day, or twelve days, I should say, after its destruction, I-95. <laughs> Did you just hear what she just say? After its destruction. Okay, it was destroyed. Okay. <laughs> this is great. Murray Bridge at Cotman Avenue is set to reopen. I want to show you a video, as we saw, of the inaugural uh, pass over the bridge. Yes, that's Philadelphia's fire de department there. And, of course, all of the city. 
sports mascots. Construction crews worked four days in demolition of that bridge, another eight days around the clock to get the temporary road in place. Three 11 foot wide lanes of traffic are about to be open to the public as construction crews will continue to work on the permanent structure on the outside lanes. Over the past 12 days, the eyes of the nation. There goes your, uh, your very, 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 as you can see, um, uh, pretty, uh, <laughs> he looks pretty, uh, he looked pretty uncomfortable. Um, Mayor Kenny of Philadelphia. ...have been on Pennsylvania. We showed them what our grit and our determination are all about. We showed them good government in action. And this is what we can do when all levels of government come together to get the job done. And a shot. So, you know, you Israelites, you should look at these things and um, think about prophecy. Um, which is really important, um, which I'll maybe make another point uh, as I let's, let this play. Shout out to the people of the city of Philly. They all stepped up and they may not have stepped foot on this project and on this site, but they did their part. They tolerated the detours. They adjusted their work schedule and travel times. They no and they choice. helped out in their way to make sure that we could get through this together. And they did a really good job. So thank you, Philly. Yeah, so apparently Philadelphia complied to an event that was out of our own hands. Apparently it's a Jake Israelite that lost control of a gas tanker, petrol tanker. And we had no other choice but to, and we still do have no other choice but to, uh, do whatever in compliance to our travel. And when you are traveling along I-95, you will notice changes. It goes down from four to three lanes, so there will be a bit of a backup there. It's also a 45 mile an hour speed limit because this remains a construction site. As we mentioned, crews will continue to work on the permanent fix. So let's go slowly, have patience. Of yeah. course, we want to protect the men and women who work so hard to get us this far in the first place. We're live along 95, Maggie Kent, Channel 6, Action. That's it. So, a bunch of confusion. Let me bring out this. As uh, you did see, um, what inaugural, as they mentioned, an inaugural reopening of this major artery that had to be done uh, very quick, right? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, and verse 7. This refers to America, Babylon the Great. How much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she said in her heart, I sit a queen and I am no widow. And shall see no sorrow. The point being is the two words glorify are glorified and live deliciously. Going into the word deliciously is uh, strenio, which means to be wanton, meaning undisciplined, to live luxuriously. And I believe. The other, other word I want was glorified, which meaning from doc, dox, adzo, which means to impart glory to something. They imparted glory to their rebuilding or you know them temporarily building a bridge on the I-95 yet it closed another roadway which is the off exit okay 
in a declining infrastructure already, okay? Using recycled material, okay? A as they mentioned, uh, you know, it's, it's no longer uh, as wide as it was. It turned to a, uh, as they said, uh, smaller. And you have to, you can't drive uh, 55 miles per hour. You have a 45 miles per hour speed limit. Also, when it goes into that word uh, for uh, glorified, going to praise or exalt, meaning to celebrate or magnify. And this was a, this inaugural reopening was a celebration. You know, you have, you know, the, um, as they showed, um, they, they brought the, the, pol the, the, the Philadelphia firemen and these different mascots from the sports teams. Now, you have it, inauguration, a ceremonial investor with office. Um, you have it where this is a uh, office, uh, you know, a bureaucracy dealing with, you know, various offices, uh, you know, Department of Transportation, you know, different federal funding was given now, Treasury. Etc. This is a, an is act of solemnity or formal introducing or setting in motion anything of importance or dignity. So this was a ritual because it was a the installation was a consecration, which it set apart. OK. And they celebrated. Oh, OK. A road was destroyed and we quickly temporarily rebuilt it. With obviously, like I say, this this infrastructure itself is the, it shows how deficient it is too. You know, building uh, temporary ways on a ninety five is more important uh, to keep things going forward uh, than to get off of it. Okay, <laughs> the exit. So if you get stuck on ninety five and for miles, hey, <laughs> until the next exit, you can get on or off or get off. Hey, be very, 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 uh, you know, uh, great, I guess, uh, celebratory towards your um, governor and the different federal and um, dignitaries, so-called, that got this going, right? Also, uh, so, so inauguration, go back to, as you have it, from the late Latin, inauguratium, which a nominative of Inaugurato, which is a consecration, presumably originally installment under good omens, meaning good signs, okay? But if you know anything about America and all of this roadways, etc., the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai is going to leave this place, um, you know, uh, destroyed. Simple as that, okay? Uh, Nothing is going to uh, remain here in uh, Babylon and you know those accounts are given beautifully by different prophets whom the Lord put the Holy Spirit on to be able to see the different visions um, of the destruction okay which the destruction the ultimate destruction will happen with do ICBM nuclear missiles alright and fire from the uh, UFOs which the Lord when it speaks about it coming with clouds, the clouds of the, the so-called UFOs, which the Lord himself, Yahweh Shai, is a so-called black man, all right, which will shall return as angelic power with the, the hosts, the holy hosts of angels are going to come in and burn this place and also simultaneously deliver the elect, okay?
of the nation of Israel, which is uh, will be uh, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Israelite foreigners. It looked like heathen nations, but lineage go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which is a thing by the spirit, not how we basically look. Okay. Isaiah 13 and 19. And Babylon, the, the glory of kingdoms. Right? Of all the kingdoms, this is the glory. Okay? Glory, Hebrew. Tazabiah. Which is a declaration. Um, it also means uh, pleasant, a sense of prominence. Yeah, we were able uh, to um, build a roadway, and this makes us uh, prominent. Yeah, I mean, a state of being important or famous in the eyes of men. Okay, for that feat. You know how many, um, I was hearing about how Franklin Mills Mall was suffering so much loss of business. That's why they had to, another main reason why they had to uh, get this, uh, our Philadelphia Mills is called today, just a outlet mall in Philadelphia that's north of, uh, you know, that exit farther, further north. Uh, but, um... This place is already not only uh, in, 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 in infrastructure wise um, deficient, but also um, economic. You know, in the economic part portion, it, it's uh, very, very much in high debt. Okay, heavy debt. All right, you read that in Habakkuk. All right, the uh, second chapter, I believe. But it says here. The beauty of the Chaldees excellency. The Chaldees would be of your modern day elite, which ancient the Chaldees would be the wise men, wizards, okay. Uh, you know, they were high level sorcerers, which today today's elite banking family are nothing but witches, okay. The elites are witches. Okay, they practice witchcraft and they want it to divert you from what's really going on in the world. Um, shall be as when the most high. So Babylon is going to be, the destruction is going to be as, as when, or meaning like or as when the power overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and that happened with fire and brimstone. All right. The Lord has that same technology, you know, just uh, in the fashion of an ICBM missile delivery, delivered, all right? So it says, it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in for generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. So this place is destined for destruction. Uh, there's no reason to be all happy um, as they are, uh, especially knowing that their bounds that they have, they can't exceed that. They have boundaries. They have a um, set time portion in which they're ruling and at the end of it. Okay, but they will impart glory and render excellent, you know, and steam meaning value. You know, the feat of being able to reopen one of their major important roadways on the East Coast in America. But most of you Israelites should think if they can have events that destroy roadways and rebuild roadways so quick. What do you think is going to happen and how you're going to be impacted when... All hell break loose. And you're unable to get from one part of the city to the other part of the city. Okay. This is going to be uh, amazing. Because that's also uh, biblical prophecy. Um, and you can read that in the Apocrypha. Which is part of the original King James Bible. Which many of you um, may know know of. 
Okay, King James was an actual so-called black man. Uh, he's a Scott uh, Stewart family. All right, um, and um, hey, you know him with the uh, rest of uh, the scholars, uh, over fifty scholars, I believe, and they have, of course, uh, the King James sixteen authorized version uh, Bible, in which uh, is uh, divinely inspired. I uh, wouldn't trust in the enemy and um, believing in what he, he, him taking out these and books, certain books, and um, claiming that they're not canonical. All right. This is uh, the book of Second Edges 16 and 8. The mighty Lord ascended plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? And not only you can you can't quench if the Lord is angry, which he's angry with the wicked every day. Um, what more the destruction? Okay. Let's go to a point. This is uh, 2nd Edges 1618. The beginning of sorrows the and great mourning. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginnings of evils and what shall I do when these evils come? Going down. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. In verse 37. As when a woman with a child with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son with two or three hours of her birth great pains can pass her womb which pains when the child cometh forth they slack not for a moment even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth and the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side and there's going to be many different events, right? That's going to bring mourning to people. If a person can't get to their mom that is on the other side of Philadelphia because a roadway was, uh, a major artery was taken out, that's going to cause major mourning, okay? When there's checkpoints, which they showed you checkpoints because of this happening, uh, you know, only those if you have business, um, because you have the affected area where that explosion occurred. You have a major businesses, uh, trash, uh, waste management, um, you know, uh, project recovery. Um, you have different, um, different um, automotive uh, shops, uh, different factories, all affected by this. And remember, the roadway itself. Yeah, people use it to get to other parts of the city. All right. But what are you going to do when the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, um, bring forth some of these major prophecies? And you're seeing the beginning of things uh, heat up. Okay. Where how the scriptures uh, is going to speak about. How a man shall desire to enter a city and shall not and, and shall not be able to. Um, you, you people are gonna they're gonna bug out, you know, because of the checkpoints. Uh, when they bring forth the collapse of this financial system, and then they're gonna come with a new uh, way, which is obviously the C hip, you know, the device, electronic implantable device. Which we know is a C hip, which is a MOTB, all right, which is written in Revelation 5, or Revelation actually 13, 16 through 18. The Hragma. What are you gonna do? For them to be able to, like, in, in a moment, like, not in 12 days, do that, that speaks a lot. But what is gonna be, what is gonna happen when. But people don't even have their wits on their heat. And everyone is looking out for themselves. 
You have to think about that. So, that's just something to consider. All praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Shema, Shai, Shem, Kodesh, Kodesh, Double Honor, the Elder Apostles, the Great Millstone, Peace, and Sight, JC, Elect. So, left hand side, uh, celebration. Proves this place is Babylon. Again, Shalom.